Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Assets panel here in Adobe XD. And what the Assets panel allows you to do is save things like colors, uh, character styles, or symbols, which can include images, icons, or any kind of vectors. Uh, you can save those within your Assets panel here, so you have quick and easy access. Now what's really great about this is that any change that you make for these assets will be made um, instantly across any artboards that they're used. So uh, first we're going to take a look at how to add some of these to uh, your assets panel. So here we have a button, an order button here. And what I'm going to do is click on the uh, shape in the background. And I want to change that color to a nice Google blue. All right. Now what I'm going to do is take this grouped uh, button and I'm going to click in the assets panel. I'm going to click the add button and it'll take the two colors used for this button and save it here for me. Now let's say I want to change the color of that blue to uh, uh, something slightly different. Uh, you'll see that change made immediately because it's referring back to the assets panel. So it's a little bit different than uh, we see with the swatches. Next, we'll take a look at the text. And here I have a heading, a nice heading I like. I wanna save uh, the attributes of, um, of this heading. So when I look at the right side here, I have uh, product settings as a typeface. Then I have the uh, font size and the uh, font weight. Now what I wanna do is save these. So I'm gonna to go to the assets panel and click the add button here. And it will save all those attributes including the color. So if I scroll down and I see another uh, heading and I want that to be consistent with the one we have above, instead of manually adding that information in, I'm just gonna click on the character style here and that'll get changed immediately. So next, what we wanna look at is how uh, to add symbols. Now here I have a, a nice footer and I have everything grouped together here and let's say I wanted to save this for later uh, in case I want to make a change across uh, any of the artboards that they're used in. I'm going to go ahead and add that symbol here. And if I ever want to make a change to that uh, footer, I can go ahead and grab the symbol and just kind of shift things around. And any change that I make will be made uh, live. So if I want to move things around, if I want to change the color of this button, that change will be made immediately. So now we're going to switch over to another uh, document here in which I have three artboards and lots of assets. I have colors and many different character styles and symbols. And I want to show you just how making one change to uh, the color, for example, I'm going to right click and hit edit and I'm going to mess with the color here. Um, you can see that one change is being made live and simultaneously across all three of your artboards. Now, if you ever want to change, um, rather delete an asset, you can simply click on it uh, and right click and hit delete. And if you want to delete uh, multiple assets, you can click once and shift click on any other asset and go ahead and uh, just delete those. Now, one last thing I want to add here, let's say you want to take all the colors and uh, character styles from one artboard and add them to your assets panel. You can do this by simply clicking on the artboard itself and click the add buttons here for the colors and the, the character styles and all of that will be added to uh, your assets panel. So you can save a little bit of time there. So yeah, the assets panel is super, um, it's pretty amazing. I use it all the time and it definitely saves a lot of time uh, so we don't have to do a lot of manual work when we're designing uh, for websites or any type of screens. I hope this video helps and if you enjoyed this video and found this helpful, uh, certainly uh, leave a like and subscribe and thank you and I'll see you in the next one.